Hello, good evening. How are you guys? Hi, teacher. Good evening. How was your weekend? How was your weekend? Hi, um, for me, it's okay. Um, I doing a lot of things in my house and with my family, but everything is okay. Okay, in, in your house, what did you have to do? I paint uh, my room. And you painted? Yeah. And a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I fix um, the window. Oh, okay. The window was broken. Sandra? Yes, uh, it's broken. Oh. I put uh, other um, cortina. Curtain. Curtain. Okay. And I, and I need that. Okay, and you sound like a little busy this weekend. several activities that you had to do. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna make our groups and we're gonna talk about our weekend. We want to speak naturally, ask, answer questions, make sure you give details. Let's try it with our partners. Yes, remember, talk about your weekend. How was it? Where did you go? What did you do? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. Okay, we're ready?
I hate working on weekends. Hello, Nidy. Good evening, teacher. I'm going to put you into the group. being recorded okay so now we're going to continue now that we talked a little bit we have more people and we were going to continue with our gerunds and short responses do you remember the gerunds we saw last week a little bit about gerunds do you remember what they were yes it's like that eng Correct, Oscar, correct. It's the ing in the words. So for example, swimming, dancing, playing, all of the ing. The idea is to use that. We're going to use those to complete and make sentences. So okay. as, an example, as an example here, Oscar, can you please read the instructions? Instructions, read the follow phrases, rearrange and use what is brackets in order to make a statement. Remember that ENG form of the verb. Good, so we're going to use, for example, this. I enjoy, I like, I don't like. All of them are your emotions. And then the words we're going to use in the correct form. Oscar, can you read the example? 
I enjoy, I enjoy spending time with my friends. So you see, we use the same words, but we need to put in the correct form the verbs. That's what we're going to do from numbers one through eight with our partners. It's okay? Five okay. Point, okay. Five point okay. four with your partners, you are going to use the words in the correct form. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, okay. Okay, perfect. 5.4. Very nice. Sandra Rosa, you okay? Sandra, you okay? Let's try again.
Roxy, how are you? I see you have problems with the internet today. Hi. Hey, Roxy. You have problems oh, with, with the internet today, huh? Yes. I, I, um, by the uh, rain, it's, it's, it's very, very strong in my area and the I have trouble with my internet. I have um, the connection with my data phones. Okay. Yeah, and here is very hard too because it's raining very hard. It's hard to hear you. But we continue, we try. Okay. okay. Uh, it, and and the 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 Okay, okay. I I I don't see the my my partners, but in this moment I I can I can see. Ah, uh huh. But I. <laughs> but everybody, everybody is connected. Everybody is connected. No problem. All right. Let's take a look at some of these exercises. Okay. What is number one? I don't like. Commuting by bus. Okay, good. I don't like commuting by bus. Good. What about number two? Number two. I hate working with a group or team. But, but number two, number two. Perdón, perdón. I'm not very good at learning foreign languages. Okay, good. Learn, learning. There you go. Correct. I'm not very, remember, when you write, you need to write the complete sentence. The complete sentence. I'm not good at learning foreign languages. Okay, number three. I am not, I am good at solving other people's problems. Okay. Good. Okay. Number four. I hate working with a group or team. Okay. All right. There we go. With a group or team. Number five. Mm -hmm. I can't stand sitting in a long meeting. Correct, in a long meeting, good, good. Number six. You need to, you need to write in a long meeting, meeting. Uh -huh. Yes, it's gonna be the complete sentence. You have to write the complete sentence. Yeah, but you didn't write it. No, 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 I'm only putting down the idea. We're gonna check the answers in a moment. Ah, okay, okay. Uh-huh, go ahead, number six. I am interested in uh, managing my time better. Okay, good. I'm interested in managing my time better. Number seven. I don't mean talking on a cell phone. Good. Pronunciation, mind. 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 Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Number eight. I enjoy eating lunch out every day. Okay, I enjoy eating out every day. Now, more or less, we, now we remember, you need the complete sentence. So take a look, we are right. I don't like commuting by bus. I'm not very good at learning foreign languages. Look, all of them, complete sentence and period. Remember, complete sentences and period. Uh, I'm good at solving other people's problems. I hate working with a group or a team. I can't stand sitting in a long meeting. Uh, number six was, I'm interested in managing my time better. Very good. Eight, 
sorry, seven, I don't mind talking on the cell phone. And the last one, number eight, I enjoy eating, not eating out, but I enjoy eating lunch out every day. So be careful with the last one, is eating lunch out every day. Is that okay? It's okay, yes. teacher. Yes, yes it's, it's All okay. Right. Excellent, excellent, okay. So now we have just a little bit of pronunciation that we're gonna practice. Here, let's look at the objective. And Sandra, can you read the objective? In this session, you will notice and practice realized and unreleased sounds. Good, only the pronunciation is with T, released and unreleased. Really? Good. Okay, let's listen what sounds we're going to see. It's going to be the t and the d sound. And we're gonna hear how to pronounce those better. Hi everyone, we want you to get better on your pronunciation. Please listen and practice as many times as you need to. Pronunciation. Unreleased and released, t and d. Part A, listen and practice. Notice when the sound t or d at the end of a word is followed by a consonant, it is unreleased. When it is followed by a vowel sound, it is released. Unreleased. She's not good at math and science. I hate working on Sundays. You need to manage money well. Released. He's not a good artist. They really hate it. I need a cup of coffee. On your own, complete the following sentences and say them out loud. Watch your pronunciation. Remember, the more you practice, the better you get. Hi, everyone. We want you to do this as many times as you need. What is the idea of released and unreleased? Really, the idea is simple. It's only that if you put the words together, she's not good at, instead of, saying she's not good. The released is that we separate the sounds. Unreleased is you pronounce like together, okay? Like when the people say, I'm gonna go, instead of saying, I am going to go. That's the idea. They mix the sounds together. That's the difference. Okay? Okay. All right, good. So now we're just gonna take a moment and we're gonna practice it a little bit before our next objective. So the idea is we're gonna take a moment and discuss past tense. So the idea is what did you do last vacation? No last weekend, no last Saturday, your last vacation, you went, you saw, you visited, you ate, give the details. As an example, my last vacation, I went to, around the country. I went to visit La Union and I saw many beautiful things. I saw some dolphins and I had the opportunity to see the whales when they were passing through El Salvador. It, that's the idea. What did you do your last vacation? Who did you go with? Where did you go? What did you eat or do? It's okay? Okay, teacher. All right. Remember, include details. It's normal to include details. It's not normal to ask you, uh-huh, con quien, donde, cuando. It's not normal. It's normal to speak naturally, okay? Let's try it.
Hello, Sandra. What happened? Hello, Sandra. Rosa, Sandra. I'm here. And Rosa? Any, you had a question, Sandra? Not really. Rosa, did you speak with Rosa, Sandra? No. 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 Rosa no habla. Nope. Okay. I put you to another group. Don't worry. Thank you. Welcome. Kimberly, wow, what happened? I'm sorry, I just came home. I was on the street and uh, I have an accident in the car. Uh, bueno, la llanta explotó. Oh. So I can change them and I called the insurance <laughs> and they changed it. So I just came home. Wow. I, it was raining. Oh no, so I was about to put... Um, to uh, be online, but I couldn't. It was raining and it was helping. No, so it's a disaster, but I'm here. <laughs> Let's, but I'm here. Hey, that's the good thing. Don't worry, Kim. Accidents happen. It's not. I know. Oh. I, I really, I don't like to go out when it's raining, but my nephew, uh, she was sick and I, I, I went to drop her and drop off. Drop her off. Drop off, and I couldn't see the batch. <laughs> and the janta, uh, como se dice janta? Tire. Tire. Como? Tire. Tire, okay, explode. So, yes. And, oh, but I'm fine. We are fine. <laughs> okay. Remember, if it's a girl, it's the niece. The niece. The niece. Niece yeah. is the uh, Sobrina. Yes, that's correct. Niece, a nephew, a sobrino. Correct. Okay, gracias. Thank you're you. Welcome. Yeah, you're welcome, Kim. <laughs> All right. Good. Okay, guys. Good. Tell me a little bit about your partner. What did your partner do? Where did they go? What did they experience? Tell me, what did you listen about your partner? I remember that my partner, Sonia, uh, was talk about uh, um, in her last vacation, visited uh, Guatemala City. Oh, okay. And what did she do in Guatemala City? Uh, she enjoyed the um, Cayala uh -huh. uh, with her family. 
nice. This was Sonia. Yes, was Sonia. Okay, good. Sonia, tell me about Roxy. What did you learn about Roxy? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, we can hear you. Go ahead. Tell us, Rosa, what happened the last vacation? Uh, um, I don't. Um, I think. Uh, son, son, uh, ¿Cómo puedo decir pasar tiempo en casa? Okay, how do you say? Pasar tiempo is spend time. Ah, uh, is spend time in my, in, in my house. Uh, because, because my baby is, my baby is prematuro. My baby. Uh, so, ah, uh -huh. uh, no puedo salir por eso. It's okay, it's okay. But remember, in English, in English, and use the past tense. My baby was premature. My baby was premature. Good, good. Very nice, Rosa. Good for trying. Excellent. All right, who else? Oscar, what do you want to tell me about your partner? Okay, we, we talk. I talk with with Lourdes. Uh, she tell me that can uh, a vacation because before or after the pandemic, children she can have a a, a vacation. So, so, Oscar, because I only hear some words yes, some words no. Uh, I heard children, then the, uh, no vacation. No and vacation after the pandemic. <laughs> and I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Who was your partner, Oscar? Lourdes. Uh, Lourdes, Lourdes. Okay. Lourdes, what did you learn about Oscar? Uh, she, uh, he he say me uh, that that in in his life last vacation he 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 went to Guatemala he went he went to Guatemala and and visit the the zoo and and visit the the Cayala city visited, visited the Cayala city. Mm, I see a lot uh, of people like Cayala, right? Yeah, Cayala. And, and in the zoo, uh, he, he saw, he saw very, uh, a lot of animals. Uh, he saw monkeys, he saw uh, rhinos, 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 uh, penguins and a snake. And a lot of animals. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, and in the Cayala City, he he told me that it's a um, it's a, a, a place uh, like um, um, like uh, Paseo del Carmen. <laughs> It's more, it's more beautiful. It's more beautiful. <laughs> uh, it's more beautiful, but there, there, there is a, a lot of restaurants and and um, a, a shopping stores and and it's a uh, it's very modern too, right? 
Yes. All yeah. right. Very good. Very Excellent. Good. Very good, guys. Very good. So now we're going to continue with our next activity. We are using the past tense. It's good. Remember to focus on the pronunciation. The t, d, id. When you speak in the past tense, those are the important parts. Now let's take a look at listening exercise. Here we want to listen. Uh, let's take Kimberly. Can you read the instructions? Yeah, for sure. Uh, instructions: um, Learn to people talk about the the kind of work they are looking for. Check the job that will be best for each student. Good. So we're going to listen to three people: Ben, Shannon, and Bill. And which job is the best for each person? Okay. So for example here, Kimberly, can you read the jobs for Bill? Uh, okay. Uh, the, the three options? Yes, please. A flight attendant, teacher, a songwriter. Thank you. Roxana, can you read the jobs for Shannon? In, yes, give me a second, please. Uh, Shannon. Well, um, I don't know the meaning Shannon. It's a name. Correct. Okay. Uh, maybe a doctor. No, read the three options, Roxy. Ah, uh, um, sorry. Lawyer, uh, bookkeeper, doctor. Okay, good. And lower this, read the three options for Ben. Ben is a marine biologist, a model, model and architect. Good, biologist. Bi wow. Biologist. Correct. Do you understand all of the jobs? No, teacher. Bookkeeper, I don't know. Bookkeeper is the synonym Accountant. Accountant is a bookkeeper. Okay. The other jobs are okay? Yes. Okay, good. Let's listen and select the best jobs that each one says. Try this one. Listening. Job hunting. Part A. Listen to people talk about the kind of work they are looking for. Check the job that would be best for each person. 1. Bill. So what kind of job are you looking for? Well, I haven't made up my mind. I love working with people, and I love traveling. I don't want a job where I'm stuck in an office all day. I want to get out and see the world. Are you interested in working in business? That's where you can sometimes make good money. I'm not really interested in making a lot of money at this point in my life. I'll worry about that later. 2. Shannon What kind of career are you planning for yourself? I don't know. I think I'd like to have a job where I can help people. Everybody else in my family is in law or business. You know, boring stuff like that. That's just not for me. I know I'd like to work overseas, though. Maybe in a children's hospital in a developing country. But that's a long way away. I have to get into medical school first, and that's not going to be easy. 3. Ben What kind of job do I have in mind? Well, I don't want a regular 9-to-5 job. Eventually, I'd like to get into acting. Maybe even break into movies. But I guess that won't happen for a while. So what are you doing in the meantime? Well, I work out at the gym nearly every day. I need to be really fit. And I'm taking acting lessons as well so that I feel comfortable in front of the crowd. I just had some pictures taken to show to agents in the city. Would you like to see them? Sure. Page 66. Exer All right, let's take a look. Number one. Flight attendant. 
Ray attendant. Ray attendant. Okay, number two. Doctor. 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 And number three. Model. Model. Hey, very good job, guys. Nice. Any questions? Not teacher. No? Not teacher. Clear. Now, we're going to talk about you. If you had the opportunity to have any job, what would be the perfect job for you? What job would you like to have? Where would you like to work? And what would you like to do? Okay. So think about you. What is your perfect job? Where would you work? What would you do? And what is your job? It's okay? Okay, teacher. Yes. All right.
Okay, guys, tell me a little bit about the idea, uh, the, the perfect job. What would you do? Where would you work? What would you like to have? Teacher, I, I dream with work in a Google firm. In a what? Google. Ah, Google. Yes. <laughs> and Roxy, are you a, are you a computer programmer? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I am a psychologist and I don't I don't know nothing, nothing about programs. But Google is the the great place to work in all the world. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Yes, Google and Apple have excellent chefs, even for cooking. They have wonderful chefs to cook also. Oh. Yes. Okay, good. Google, maybe, maybe. You never know. Maybe Google El Salvador, right? In human resources, because I, I am um, a psychology degree and a all my experience is in, in human resources. And then yes, maybe. Good, anybody else? Where would you like to work? Uh -huh, Fernando? I am... Um... I am building construction the house. Ah, so you would like to work in construction? Construction, yeah. Building? Okay, for like Grupo Roble. No, no. 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 What do you say, contratista? Contractor. Contraction? Contractor. Constructor. I am contractor. Okay. That would be your perfect job. Fernando? Tell me. Will that, Tell me. Would that be your perfect job to be a contractor? What do you say? Would, I, I don't know. But that is that your perfect job? I don't know, teacher. Look in the chat. Is there a question? Did you see the just, chat? Yes. Yes. Just a minute. Just a minute. Okay. Okay. No problem. Another person, Fernando is looking. What else would you like to have? What would be your perfect job? I would like to be a soccer player. A soccer player. Yeah. Okay. okay. For Aguila, Fas, Metafas, for Fas. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, but not in this moment, right? This moment they have problems. And in the Liga yeah. Chocobito, in the other moment, right? In the uh -huh. future, maybe in the Liga Chocobito. <laughs> uh huh. Or maybe with the beach soccer. The beach soccer is excellent in El Salvador. The beer league, yeah. Okay. Fernando, did you read the question? Yes, yes, it is. Yes, the contractor is your perfect job. Okay, yes. good. All right. Sandra, what about you? Because Sandra never speak if I don't say Sandra. Sandra, all the class quiet, huh? Only looking and looking. Yeah. Uh-huh, they, they don't say my name. They don't say my name. <laughs> no. Um... Uh, I like to be a civil engineer and 
and with my partners, um, they say that it's gonna be great to have a work that um, be a middle time uh, with the same pay of a uh, uh, full time. What is part time? Part time. Part time. Mm -hmm. Part time. Okay. Well, guys, thank you so much for sharing. I love to hear about what you would like to do. Tomorrow, we're going to describe about personality traits and what personality do you need for the different jobs, okay? So tomorrow, personalities and the different personality for the different jobs. Okay. Okay. All right, I'll guys. See you tomorrow. Good night, you. Good night, guys. Bye. Good night. Have a great night, everyone. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night.